we want to look at how to find the product and the quotient for exponents. And so I've written the actual rules on the top of each one of these columns, multiplication on the left and division on the right. And one thing that I kind of try to remind students is that when we old-fashioned used to do multiplication, it was an x. And so if I turn the x, it becomes a plus. So that's one way that you can remember it. Uh, for division, it can sometimes be written with the dots in the bar, or even if it just has the bar for the division line. And remember, that looks like a minus sign, so that's how you remember that you're going to subtract your exponents. So let's start with the one over here on the left for the multiplication. And I'm going to write out all the steps, whether you need them or not. If you don't need them, then just, you know, you can say, oh, I know how to do that, and you can just keep on going. So I'm going to multiply things that look alike. So 5 times 2 is 10. Now, for my exponents, it says I need to add them. So this is going to be 3 plus 2 and y 6 plus 3. So the 10 stays the same, and then it's going to be x to the 5th, y to the 9th. And that's your final answer. So if I come over here on the right, now it's division, so that means I'm going to be subtracting exponents. So I'm going to take 75 and I'm going to divide it by 5. And then I'm going to go ahead and write out the step where I subtract my exponents. So I get 15x to the 4th y, and that's a 4, and that's going to be your final answer. Now, some of you may be wondering why I didn't put y to the first. Remember, y to the first is simply y.